Hello people, today I realized that I haven't actually made a video about finding the entity list. I only showed a bit of it my, while making the ESP and so on. So today we will find the entity list for any source engine game. That's right, CSGO, Team Fortress 2, Garry's Mod and so on. So what is this entity list? Well, you can see it as a part of the game's memory, which holds the player pointers. By figuring out the distance between each entity, we can loop through the entity list and collect the information that we want. Luckily, the entity list in source games are quite easy. Each entity will be 10 bytes apart. The method of finding the entity list will be pointer scanning for our character self, then using the dissect data slash structures to locate nearby pointers or entities. This is possible because our player is also in the entity list. Okay, so at the desktop, we go to Steam, we pick the game that we want. I will use Counter-Strike Source, it's a really great game, and uh, it's my preference. So, add the launch options, command dash insecure. So, right click, properties, add dash insecure. This will disable VAC and we can't back secure servers. So we can't get banned and we can uh, do as much as we like in a local game. So to test that VAC is disabled, we try to join a back secure server. You're in secure mode or you are in insecure mode, which means VAC is disabled. Now we'll create a server, we'll add some bots. I'll add two bots, it seems fair. And now we'll try to find the entity list. So, first of all, open console, type svsheets1, then bot starts to one. This will make the bot stop, so it's two CTs, we can go to the CT spawn and take a look that they've stopped. Yeah. Now, let's open Sheet Engine and start searching. So, since our player is also in the entity list, we can search for our health, 100, and then do a pointer scan. Yeah. Because if we find one pointer with uh, us in it, we can find all of the other players if we remove that offset and look around. So each player will be 10 bytes apart, you will understand later. We have searched for 100, type hurt me. Now we have 90 help, we search 90, we type hurt me again, now we have 80 health because it's minus 10, hurt, hurt me 70, and now we have a lot of addresses, so we'll browse these addresses and check if nearby values are changing when our character is changing position and so on and nothing changes here nothing changes here or not when we move we check this next address stuff happens when we move around so we add this address to the address list check the next one Stuff happens when we move around, so we add that one too. Browse the next one. Stuff happens, so add it. Oh, I added the wrong one, my bad. So, this one, we browse the next memory region. Only one value is changing, not what we're searching for. So, we browse the memory region here. Nothing. Here a lot of stuff is changing, so 
we add that one to the list. Where else this memory regen? Nothing's happening yet. Okay, now we have a couple of addresses. Let's pointer scan for each one of them. So, pointer scan max level one. The health offset is only one uh, level deep. And we'll call this uh, entity list. So only one pointer, message bus .dll. probably not that one, we check the next one. We want to find multiple pointers with the same offset, so let's overwrite our pointer scan from earlier, because it wasn't that one. Zero paths, check the next one. I just scan for this address. Nothing again. The last one. I just scan for this address. And we have some pointers so these 94 pointers with offset 94 it will probably be one of them since 8c is alone with offset 8c and we wouldn't have a local player with 8c and we wouldn't have a entity list with 8c so we couldn't use this pointer we want to use these ones that have the same offset so we'll take a look at pointer number one with 94 now we remove the pointer so we take a look at this data structure and we compare if or if there are any other entities in this list so it doesn't seem like it because there is no pointer at 10 bytes it's empty and it's probably just our local player we'll close that one down because we're looking at or we'll, we're looking for the entity list not the local player check the next one remove the pointer it's the same as earlier Define your structure. Now we have the first one. We have a second pointer of the 10 bytes. And if we take a look at the health offset, which was 94, 94, 100. Let's shoot uh, one of them and check if it changes. If it changes, then we have probably found the entity list. So let's hurt one of them. Wallace, sorry mate. Bring out the structure. And it changed to 71. We shoot him again. 54. Again. 37. 23. And 1. So we have found the first entity which is 10 bytes down from the base of the entity list. So where is the first, or this would be the first entity. This is the second entity, one player. This is the third entity, 10 bytes from the other one. So it's always 10 bytes in source game. Uh, or at least I think it is. Maybe someone can correct me if I'm wrong. We check 20 bytes down. Offset 94, 100. Let's check if it's our friend Wesley. 83, 56, 49, 32, 15. And that. So, I think we can surely say that this would be the entity list. 
So if we create a program that uh, reads from the start of this entity list plus 10 bytes for each entity. So if there would be 32 players in the game, we would just do a for loop and add 10 bytes to the base of the entity list times i. So if it's the player or the 10th player, it would be 10 bytes times 10 plus the entity list and so on. So here you guys got it. The entity list for probably any source game. And I will see you guys in another video.